Okay, Mr. Palmer, we're ready when you are. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. My name is Joe Palmer. I'm from Tarrant County. I'm speaking on behalf of the group Eliminate Property Tax. As were many others, I was excited and optimistic to find out about something called the Property Taxpayer Relief Bill that would ultimately be filed as Senate Bill 2. Help is on the way, I was sure, and I told anyone who would listen that the legislature is finally listening to us. Attending the select committee meetings in Arlington and in Montgomery County, I learned a great deal about the various moving parts of the property tax system. I drove down to register and testify in support of the bill in all the hearings. But I have learned even more since the bill was finally passed. I have learned that despite the efforts of the bill author and others which were nothing short of heroic, what 30-year veteran insider of the appraisal system Gary Lasada said in testimony in the early stages is correct, that the property tax system is impossible to administer effectively and it cannot be fixed, evidenced by the fact that here we are again trying to fix it again. I'm here to ask members to consider an option that would provide a more efficiently levied tax that would actually provide more funding for schools, police, fire, and roads. I'm referring to House Bill 3742, which was filed in the 83rd session by then State Representative George Lavender. In broad strokes, Texas has a GDP of $2.6 trillion. A tax rate of just 7% on all of this would capture $182 billion. After exempting 35%, which represents food, water, and other items currently not taxed, the net is about $118 billion. This is more than the roughly $117 billion that we currently collect from property taxes. This is not adding another new tax. Instead, it restructures the Texas tax system into one simple, efficient, and transparent consumption-based tax of 7%. That's it. Not 7% on top of the existing seven, just seven total. Coincidentally, some variation of this bill has been filed seven times in the last two sessions. Think of it, no more protests, 254 appraisal district offices closed, and all that overhead and retirement goes straight to the classrooms, the roads, the muni pensions funds, etc. Did you know that according to Travis County data, that 60 to 70% of people rent in Austin and that families are being driven out by housing prices? Much talk is rightly devoted to figuring out how to helping people buy homes, but equally important is to find a solution to help existing homeowners keep theirs. This solution would help both. Why would we not want to consider a system that is fair, efficient, and transparent? Why would we not want to consider a system that would make possible true home ownership for all Texans, signify a restoration of community, and help families build generational wealth? I thank you all for your careful consideration. The handout provided has more data to support our position, as well as some frequently asked questions, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, sir. Members, any questions for the witness? Chair, and just oh, Chair. one quick comment. I just want to thank you for spending your day here with us. Seriously, some perseverance. That's all you hear. I, you got here early. You stayed late. And, and we appreciate folks who are willing to come be a part of the process and tell us your views. And so I just want to say I know we as a committee appreciate your time here today and appreciate your, your commitment to the issue. So thank you for that. Appreciate your stewardship. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members, is there anyone else who wishes to testify? Thank you. The House Select Study Committee on Sustainable Property Tax 